wins game two tonight. I'm going to take, take the Lakers, Skip. I think the Lakers will be more aggressive. I don't see the Nuggets out-rebounding them 22-6 in the first quarter. I think they get a faster start. I do not see the Nuggets getting nine offensive rebounds on their first 11 possession. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. Because if you do, you'll probably have a repeat of what happened in game one. Yep. Um, it's been reported that Darvin Ham is kind of leaning towards starting Rui Hachimura. How can he not be? I, no, I, seriously. Well, I, even if he doesn't start Rui, Skip, I just don't know if he's starting the three-guard lineup was the smartest thing, no. considering the Nuggets are the best rebounding team in the postseason. Yep. They go seven foot. They go six, ten and a half. Yep. They go six, eight. And you're going to start three guards against that? When really, and, and LeBron is, is, is on an injured foot, so it's not like he's going to give you the fifth, consistent 15 rebounds to go along with AD. So I, I just think probably go big. Even if you don't start Rui, go Vando, but you got to go bigger than what you started uh, on Tuesday night. Um, the Nuggets house in the first half, it was basically a tale of two halves, but the Nuggets had built up so much good grace in the first half yeah. that the Nuggets, uh, the Lakers had an uphill battle in the second half. Yeah. And still, with 44 seconds left in the ball game, had the ball only down on possession. Yeah. So as bad as they played, had great as Nikola Jokic had Jokic had been yeah. through the first three quarters, and Jamal Murray was sensational. As great as they had shot the ball through the first three quarters, Skip, the Lakers was right there. I believe the Lakers can play better. I don't know how much better the Nuggets can play than what they played through the first three quarters. Now, the yep. question is, can they play a whole game? That's asking an awful lot to play an entire game like you played the first three quarters. Yep. So I think LeBron becomes a little bit more aggressive. They do a lot better job on the offensive glass. They do a lot better job of not making it so easy, so comfortable for Yoke. And I think the Lakers find a way to win this ball game. Okay. All points valid. Agree, 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 except with your final takeaway. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the home team going up to nothing in part because I picked the home teams to win every game right. all the way through game seven and that the Nuggets would win the series four to three. Okay. Home, 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 home. Right. I didn't feel very good about game two moments after game one. After what was said yesterday, I feel a lot better about Denver winning game two tonight because I feel like the Lakers sort of went Lakers, got a little full of themselves as they are wont to do historically because they've earned the right to do that. And it felt like to me, as I told you yesterday, it felt like the Lakers won the game. It felt like they took a player who was as dominant for three quarters as I, just about I could ever remember. I don't know. What are those numbers again? The, you know, the 31, 31 19. 19, and 12 through three quarters. He put up an all-time great game through three quarters Correct. against what I consider the best defensive team, right. certainly in the playoffs, but but I think of the years since the trade and deadline. And a top five defensive player is what okay. he did that against. Okay. AD. Against AD. Can, can we say he's the best shot blocker in the game? I know Jaron Jackson's up there, right. but listen, AD – 80's right Ooh. there. He, uh, okay. Miles Turner. But the, okay, the, okay, but he's, he's there. And he, and he is rising above in, in big playoff games where he'll get you four, five, six blocks. But I think okay. we'll both agree he's a top five defender in all of basketball. Absolutely. So you, you took a Nikola Jokic that you love, a lot of people love. <laughs> you, you took an all-time great performance, a virtuoso, only three-fourths of, mm -hmm. and then... You turn him into a player who, to me, and I'm not exaggerating this, he looked lost in the fourth quarter. And it, Michael Porter Jr. said, yep, they got us in the fourth quarter. We've seen every defense we could see on Yoke, but th they, they hit us with something we, we didn't really anticipate in the fourth quarter. Exactly. And he said, we didn't figure it out fast enough. Right. Okay. So help me out here. Nikola Jokic in the fourth quarter. It's like nobody watched the fourth quarter. I, I feel like I'm the only human who watched it. I'm watching the guys on and they're still going crazy about Joker, Joker, Joker. He was 0 for 2 in the fourth quarter. 0 for 2. He did get to the line four times. He made three of them. So he scored three points. He had two rebounds, two assists, and two turnovers in the fourth quarter because he was discombobulated. Would you, would you agree? Yeah, they, they confused him. Okay. They, they didn't sort of see this one coming. So given that, I was a little shaky about – Boy, it feels like the Lakers will just segue right into game two tonight and keep on keeping on and turn right back up the fourth quarter heat. Mm -hmm. And instead of 
Denver punching you in the mouth. You'll just punch them right in the mouth in the first quarter, and you'll be off to the races, okay. and you will prove to be the superior team right. tonight at Denver. Okay, what has Denver got going for it? What, what has it had going for it all year very long? that nobody bought into Denver. Am I right? Yeah. It, did you buy into Denver? I don't think you did, because I didn't. Not as a team, but I, I know. Mean, I mean, you, him, yeah, you yeah. did. Okay, I, I give you that. But as a team, they're the one seed, and it felt like they were the one seed from day one. But they were struggling down the stretch. Right? Remember, but, a little yoked. bit. Okay, but, yeah, he had a calf thing yeah. or something. I, I don't know. But still, di didn't they maintain one seed all the way yeah. home? Yeah, yeah. And Michael Malone, he's starting to grow on me a little bit, he, he plays the lack of we, we get no respect card. Mm -hmm. He plays it pretty hard. And he played it real hard yesterday because, you know what he's called Denver? And you know Denver about as well as anybody. You played football there. <laughs> yeah, but, but he calls it a dusty old cow town. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got some of that going on, but it's a great place. Right. I love Denver. I could live in Denver. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's Bronco country, though. But, but it's Bronco it's a, country. Okay. It's a, it's a football okay. town. Okay, it's a football town, but... Dusty old cow town. It's, it, it has its share of rodeos. Yeah, yeah, we and, you know, yeah, we, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. And he's playing the, the we are underappreciated. We, we're almost to the point of being unknown. And so he, he got his dander up. He, he, you saw that sound right. bite. He was not real happy. And I think it was legit. He was getting angry because it, it felt like the media had leaped to the conclusion, Lakers got him. Right. Lakers found the antidote to, to Joker, and all of a sudden, pff, Batman prevailed. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like LeBron won the game. But, right. but wait a second. LeBron didn't win the game. No. The, the, and, and to his point, I'll bet you every red penny I have, red cent I have, that would Darvin Ham trade plays? Sure you would. Absolutely. Because it's one to nothing Denver. Okay, so they play best with chips on shoulder. I think you helped replace the chip on shoulder, and it's not – it wasn't overt. It's almost like a, a covert thing. It's it's almost like a it's it's it, it, it's a little off radar how this happened. But but the, the Lakers it, remember what Darvin Ham said. We used the soundbite. He said, "Trust me on this." Remember, and you right. you nodded along. Right. You know, trust me, we're going right. to be just fine, right? Right. And I think they think that they found something. Well, guess what? That they did find something because then. Michael Malone went on to detail how many times they have seen a similar defense like that one. Right. Okay. Help me out here. The difference is, like he was doing, Draymond played sort of a lurk coverage, right. if you to use a football right. term, where he he You're he wrong. backed off and they let somebody else play Joker face to face, right. and then he just sort of right. roamed in the background. Okay. The difference here is. Hachimura is a very underrated physical defensive right. presence. Right. He's very physical because you want to talk about a man's body. You want to talk about an NBA body. Right. He has got one. Right. And Plus, Hachimura is bigger than Draymond, so he, your he, lurker is okay, different. That, your lurker is 16. That is, is correct. That is, correct. David that, that versus is exactly right. Draymond. Hachimura comes in with a chip on his shoulder. He comes in fearlessly and, and plays like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He's playing like the eighth man who's fighting for a place on the team. Mm -hmm. And I love his energy and attitude and body language. And he attacked Joker like an underachiever would attack a superstar. And that's, he, he got up into him and then he used the line after the game. I, I tried to put my weight on his knees where right. he was leaning in kind of knee to knee right. where, where he would just lock him down where he couldn't, it's not like <clears throat> Joker's the quickest guy. I think he's got great hand quickness, yeah. but he doesn't have great foot quickness. So he kind of locks him down, and he can't sort of get around him. And then when he did get a little half step, he goes up, and the long arm of the law is he, above right him. There. And he goes 0 for 2. And by the way, I'm going to show him just again, because you can just see the desperation, especially on the second shot of the two missed shots, if we could please see those from game one. This is Joker. And he's just getting frustrated. I'm going to try this, and he left it short. And then this is the frustration. I can't, I can't. But so I'll just shoot a three. Right yep. You see Porter, you're not Porter, no, you got the, the rebound. Got the offensive rebound. All right. So do you believe that they do have the solution, the antidote to Joker? Do you believe that they are going to keep him to, let's just say, a low roar tonight? No. No, no, nobody's been able to do that the entire okay. playoff. The only time, I mean, he's only been inefficient one game. I think he shot 9 of 21, but he still ended up having like 26 points and almost probably a triple-double. He's a he's a, a, a all-time great player, 
who's having an all-time great playoffs. So the likelihood of you holding him down, Skip, no. I think the biggest difference is if you look at the second half versus the uh, first half is that the Lakers didn't get out rebounded by 16. They didn't get out shot by, by 15. And so now let's keep it close. Let's get it late into the ball game, which you almost got it done. Like I said, with 44 seconds left in the game, you were a possession down. As poorly as you had played up until that point, yep. and as great as the Nuggets had played up until that point, you're still only a possession down. Because if you go back and look at the third quarter, Skip, the, uh, the Nuggets shot six of nine from three. The Lakers was one of four, and they still outscored them in the fourth. They outscored them, I mean, excuse, excuse me, in the third quarter. They outscored them again in the fourth because the rebounding and the shooting was comparable. So that's all the Lakers are saying. Look, guys, let's just not let them run and hide in the first half. Yeah. Let's not let them have a, a, four, a 15, a 20-point deficit. Let's not have a 15, 20-point deficit going into the fourth quarter. And let's see when every possession matters. Okay. Can they still execute? I want to see. Okay. Here's what I want to see. I want to see Hachimura in the starting lineup. And I believe Darvin will do it just because it, it's, it's like a duh. It, right. it, it's like... It, it's too easy. It's right. too good to be true. Yeah. You, you just have to do that. Yeah. Does he do it for D'Lo? Because ESPN reported that the locker room sources said that we're going to lose D'Lo psychologically if you don't start him for the first time since he returned. Well, to the you Lakers. can start him because he'd be taking Vandal spots. So okay. D'Lo and 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 um, Austin Reeves will still be your backcourt. Okay. Well, but, somebody's out of them the three guards, so it's Schroeder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. Right. You def you can't go back to three guards. Okay. All right. So here you go with Hachimura. I want to see how Denver responds to that because I think as much of an advantage as you do, a physical, a real advantage, I do think psychologically it will put the chip back on their shoulders because they'll be angry like, oh, you really think that's going to work? And I think you might get shot right between the eyes just like you did in game one in the first quarter. But also I think you think that Hachimura is a better shooter than Schroeder, right? Well, so look, you need what another... he, look what he did. He made eight of 11 shots. He was on both ends. He was like, you want to talk about a two-way player. So when LeBron, when they swing it, and they, and they swing it to Hachimura, you're not afraid of him taking okay. a mid-range no. or a three-point shot. Okay, because you, you got two issues, just real quick before we get back to Joker, but you, your two issues are Vando is one of the league's best defensive players, and he's a liability in offense. No offensive threat. And you have another disadvantage because D'Lo, we're going to get deeper into this in a minute, but D'Lo is one of your better offensive players, and he's a liability on defense. Correct. Okay, so those are the... Second level strategic right. plus minus. Right. Okay. How they've been able to pull it off with both of those guys in the starting lineup is. All right. So Denver is seething right now to show you that they can, that they can checkmate you. Mm -hmm. That that there's a, an answer to your answer, which is somebody's open. And I looked at the stats. There are all kinds of third level stats on Aaron Gordon. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's not a great player offensively, but he's a decent player. Yeah. He averaged 16 a game this year. He averaged 18 in 2018 for Orlando, and that was his career high. So can he score a little bit? Well, yeah. sure he can. So, so far in the playoffs, he's 10 of 29 from three. That's 34.5%. The other night, they stuck him in the proverbial dunkers slot or spot. Mm -hmm. And that's down there on the baseline, just right. sort of um, not just directly under the basket, a little off, maybe right. 10 feet from mm -hmm. the basket mm -hmm. on the baseline. Right. It's the classic, let's hide him on offense right. Slot, spot, right? Right. Okay. You can't do that because the other night when he stood in that spot, they never scored a basket. They never scored a point. Right. So he, I believe it was nine times he went there right. and they didn't score because it allows AD to keep a half eye over yeah, there. Yeah, close but, enough, yeah. Okay. But, but you can just roam and wreak havoc. Right. Right. But, right. And even if, Skip, the only thing I will do, I'm not letting him dunk the ball. I'm going to foul him because yeah. I don't think he's a great free-throw shooter. Well, he went, so I'm gonna, I'm he gonna, went two of six in the fourth so I'm quarter. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just not letting him dunk the ball. I'm not letting him get the ball up. All right. I'm telling you, the key to tonight is Aaron Gordon. And I don't want to put too much pressure on this poor guy. But what they have to do is move him out of the dunker spot out to the three-point line because he's not bad from there. And 
he's going to get wide open three. I promise you. What what does Joker do? What maybe maybe his greatest strength? He's, he's kind of he, he's like LeBron almost. Like he's actually a better passer than a scorer. He's not a willing shooter scorer. No, it's not it, it it's not first nature to him. First nature is just to look around That's and fun. make some goofy looking pass <laughs> that hits somebody right in the pocket for a shot. Yep. Right. Yep. Because. He can really see it and feel it and anticipate it uh -huh. before it happens. Well, trust me, if if Hachimura is up in him and lurking is AD. is AD, and if Aaron Gordon's on the weak side, the back side over there just saying, I'm open. I'm not sure he's going to feel like that because I'm not sure he, he's got that kind of killer mentality yeah. or killer will. But he's going to be open. Shannon, I'll go on record. If, if he can make two or three threes in the first half, you're going to be in big trouble because it's going to make you come out of that. We ain't coming out of it. Okay. Well, we come out of it a little bit. But here's the thing. What if we get the lead, though? See, we get the lead. See, we want to – see, Skip, they were comfortable. It's easy to take shots when you – if you notice, Skip, anytime a team has a lead and all of a sudden they take the starters out and the role players come in, the role players start making shots like they've been shooting all night. Yeah, because that's just the way it flows. And you look at this; they had the lead, and got Bruce Brown came in, and you thought Bruce Brown was an all star, and you thought these guys. So we got to put you got to put pressure on them to say all of a sudden now, can you still make that that twenty five foot three point shot when you down ten? Yeah, as opposed to being up fifteen, the basketball seems to be a lot smaller, and the rim seems to be a lot bigger. Yeah, when you're up as opposed to when you're down. Okay, so here was the shocker to me the other night. Effectively, this boils down to Denver is the best offensive team in basketball yeah. because they have so many different weapons yeah. beyond just yeah. that weapon. You guys are the best defensive team, yet the best defensive team gave up 74 points in the first half. I never thought I'd see the night mm -hmm. that would happen. And then guess what? Tables got turned and Denver gave up 72 points in the second half at home. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a recipe for disaster right. because – my issue is, is you know, it, it's not about joker on offense. I'm going to say it again. They don't have a joker problem on offense because of Hachimura. They have a joker problem on defense because he can't guard anybody. Right. I'm, it, listen, who even LeBron going to the, the super highway right. to the basket, if they try to put Jamal on him or a lot of Aaron Gordon, LeBron can just – he, he can attack at will because they don't have a rim protector. Right. Jokic is not that guy. He, he's not going to be a big, strong force because he doesn't play physical basketball yeah. and he's not a leaper. Well, I think the thing is, Skip, and plus, if you go back and look at it, uh, Jamal Ray had five fouls, KCP had five fouls, Yoke had four fouls. So put pressure on him, drive the ball to the basket, and let's see what happens. Get the guys in foul trouble. It's a whole different ball game if Murray can't be in there uh, for stretches in the third and fourth quarter because he's in foul trouble. Hey, put pressure on Yoke. Anyway. Okay, you mean on, on defense? On defense, well, absolutely. What, and, and that's why I keep telling you I can't put him above Embiid because he doesn't play on that end of the floor at a high level, even though Michael Malone says he's underrated on defense. I didn't see it the other night. Right. I'm sorry, I, I don't. I'll tell you what you didn't see. You didn't see a no-show. You didn't see 5 of 18. From? From Joe LB, what you oh, saw oh, for okay. what you saw Sunday. Well, least, What's the likelihood of him scoring, going 5 of 18, scoring 18 points in a game? Well, if he had a torn knee ligament, he might go 5 nah, of 18. Nah, 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 I don't well know about Embiid. no torn ligament. Well, I know a lot about that, it. So that's what they leaking out there? That's what no, the, that's the story no, they leaking this team leaking? leaking? This is, this is mm -hmm. high place. So I remember so. what you said. Oh, LeBron team leak. He had to be sedated. Yep. I wonder if Joe LB team leaking that. No. That he had to be sedated? No, that he got a tore Lee ligament. Well, I was there when it got reported on ESPN because it got reported in my face. Well, I was I was here when it got reported well, because LeBron it was in insider my face. says he got he had to be sedated because of an issue with a teammate in everybody the locker knows, room. Everybody know you were Joel Embiid spokesman. Mm, spokesman. Yeah, you. Well, who won the MVP? Crisis this year? management. Yeah. Huh? Who won the MVP? Who should have won? Oh, really? Are uh, you going there? I, who should have Wait won? a second. You gave up? Hey, I'm just saying. With it, three weeks out. What, three weeks out. You said, I give what, up. What is the MVP? What are all the other NBA players saying? What are they saying? What are they tweeting now? I, I, I don't care. What you do saying. care. Yeah, I don't care. And then if anybody, maybe they were tweeting in the third quarter. Did anybody actually watch the fourth quarter? They watched the Nuggets win, really? but not tonight. Okay. Yeah.
Did, did you see Joel Embiid score 52 against the Celtics when he had a healthy knee? I, he, well, he, well, he, and you mean to tell me Ooh. he couldn't even give him 25 on Sunday? Ooh. He scored, he won scoring 52, but he couldn't even give you 20 on Sunday? How That's can, embarrassing. How can you overcome a point guard, quote unquote, who is sabotaging Doc oh, Rivers? Now, 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 yeah, sabotaging. Now, I said it. Now you call, we're going to talk you about You just it. called James Harden a saboteur. I called him a point guard. Is what I called him. <laughs> Because I think that's what he was supposed to be. And he was a savage. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Skip. Well, it, 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 was he not down on Doc? That story was. It seemed broken. like Joel and B was down on Doc no, the way he played. No, Doc was playing on, I mean, uh, Joel was playing on one leg, but he he endorsed Doc after the game. He loves him. I love Doc. Yeah, because he, he no. got to have me all Doc's yeah. other feet in yeah. the rock. Huh? Did you watch James in game seven? Did that not look like they would, sabotage? They would not even been a game seven mm -hmm. if it weren't for Harden in games one and five. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. Well, all I know is Joel Embiid won the MVP, and you can't take it away. He, he yeah. won it. You know, mm -hmm. people got tired of voting for you. Really? Because it's like, is he a historically? Is he a pantheon? Is he a Russell, a Chamberlain, a Larry? Yeah, he going When it's all said and done, he might. He might dethrone Larry. H help me out. Better defensive player, Embiid or Jokic? Better player, <laughs> Embiid or Jokic? <laughs> I just, I just ask a laughable question. I, okay. Yeah. Okay. But who's the better player? Man. Better player. If Denver right now had a shot blocker like Embiid, whew, they would be something. Well, first of all, Embiid wouldn't have played the first game because yeah. we know he's notorious for missing a game. Uh -huh. <laughs> we know that. But if Embiid were out there tonight, LeBron would be saying, I ain't going to no basketball. And what, and he could have. He made the playoffs. If he yeah. could just get to the – when is he going to – as a matter of fact, now that you mentioned it, you yeah. got my attention. Uh -huh. When is he going to get to a conference final? Uh -huh. you, you know – He's the only MVP He's, that's never been to the conference finals. He is out of sight, out of mind. Uh, but but now I need to know, is LeBron going to miss a late crucial clutch shot? I need to know because he did it again. Is he going to pull up from three when they need him to make a big two? Well, I, at least LeBron is in this game. Yeah. Uh, I know Joel Embiid yeah. ain't going to miss one. <laughs> he ain't the player. I'm afraid LeBron's about to go down 0-2. It don't matter. Yep. We, hey, we notorious for coming back from 0-2. We've been there before. Yeah. Been there, done that. You're, Loved it. You're actually notorious for losing six finals. Yeah, we're notorious for getting to the finals. <laughs> Did you know we 10 and 1 in conference finals? I, I know you're 4 and 6 in NBA finals. Mm. That's all I know. How many people have? Oh, that's many, not even 500. How many people have ever been to that? That's kind of shameful. Oh. Mm. Huh. oh, well. What's shameful is your guy home. Yeah. Huh. Still hadn't made the conference final. Okay. Do you know him? It's, it's, it's going to be, you know what, it's going to be sad. Did you know Yoke and, and Joel Embiid in the same draft class? Mm. Why are we it is going to be amazing. You, that's your guy. How, how can you defend your guy when he went 0 for 2 in the fourth quarter? Man, that man. 0 for 2? That man had 34, 20, and, and, and 14. There's this thing called the fourth quarter, the money quarter. Hold on, Skip. Did, it, did they lose the game? He, he went broke. Did they lose they're, the game? They were writing. The, I saw one headline in the ringer that, <laughs> that, 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 that the Lakers broke the Denver offense in the fourth. Broke it? No, they did. I don't know. Oh, wow. People just be writing anything. Okay. But you know Yoke, the baddest man. Yeah. The baddest man. He better say, he I, be I can't put baddest and yoke in the same. Yeah, yeah. Sense. I'm yeah. sorry. I mean, I, I know. Yeah. I know. Skip, you look there, at there him. There are like... two ends of the floor. The nah, floor. nah, 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 nah. Mm -hmm. that, that other end right there. Yeah. Huh. Hachimura turned him into the saddest man. In the Don't do that. He, he did. Well, look. he did. See, all you try to do yeah. is get the man riled up so he can drop. <laughs> that is true. So he can drop 50. The saddest man in the NBA. Let's leave this one here, guys. <laughs> we'll circle sad. back in a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.